today I'm going to be doing an on-the-go tutorial and this is perfect for those days when you're late for work or if you're just in a hurry and you don't have time to do your makeup and you need to get it done when you're in the car. So since I'm in New York City, I figured it would be perfect for me to do my makeup in a cab. I thought it was very appropriate. So um, I'm going to be using stuff that is really easy to get your hands on and you don't have to worry about using any brushes and everything fits in a small little cosmetics bag like this so you can just throw it into your handbag and you're good to go so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's go ahead and jump into everything alrighty so the first thing I'm going to be using is a hand sanitizer and this is really important because you want to make sure that your hands are clean since you're going to be using your hands to apply your makeup and especially because you're in a cab and you don't know where cabs have been so <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my hands and then I'm going to jump straight into my complexion. I'm just going to even everything out and I'm going to start off by using a little bit of my Bobbi Brown corrector. I wear the shade Light Bisque and this is a salmon colored corrector that goes underneath your eyes. It helps correct any kind of blue or purple you have underneath your eyes and just kind of helps to make you look more awake. And then I'm just going to pat the concealer underneath my eye using my ring finger. And you wanna make sure you are using your ring finger because your eye area is very delicate and your ring finger has the softest touch. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So for blush, I'm going to be using Maybelline's Dream Mousse Blush in color number 20, Peach Satin. And this is a really pretty peachy pink color with a little bit of shimmer in it. And this is great because you can just use your hands to apply it. You don't have to worry about carrying any brushes with you. So I just have a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna smile to find the apples of my cheeks and then just pat it on. Now to set everything, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and I wear the color Medium Sand. And then I'm going to be using my Revlon Kabuki Brush and this is a small Kabuki brush so it's perfect for traveling. So I'm just going to pat it all over my face like this. Now for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the new CoverGirl Smoky Shadow Blast Pencil. And these are great for when you're on the go because you don't have to worry about any brushes. You can apply the eyeshadow straight from the pencil and you get two colors. Okay, so I'm going to be using this plummy brown color and I'm just going to apply it directly to my eyelid. Concentrating on the lower part of my lid, getting close to my lashes. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and smudge everything out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and bring it down on my lower lash line and just smudge it out a little bit. And then I'm carefully going to curl my eyelashes and this step is optional. If you have naturally fabulous lashes, you can skip this step. But if you're like me and you have straight lashes, then just be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to rip your eyelashes out when you're in the cab and it gets bumpy. Then last but not least, I'm going to top everything off with a little bit of lip gloss. And this one is from Jouer. It's called Wind. And it's one of my favorite lip glosses because it's just the perfect natural nude color. It doesn't make your lips look washed out or dead. And it's just great for everyday wear. And the other great thing about Jouer lip products is that they're really hydrating. So you don't have to worry about wearing a lip balm underneath. They will keep your lips moisturized all day long. Now, since I did use my hands to apply all of the makeup, my hands are a little bit dirty, so I'm just gonna take some makeup wipes and I am going to get this stuff off of my hands. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you end up trying out this look, I would love to see some photos on Twitter and on Facebook. And yeah, other than that, I will see you all later and I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Bye.